The Ole Miss football program has taken a complete 180 from where we were last year being 2-8 and eight, and this year being 5-5 five and five with two games remaining. Some fans say they would have not believed last year that we would be where we are today. After last year, I wouldn't have given us 5-7 and seven at all. Uh, but with the new coach coming in giving us a lot of energy, it's, it's looking good. No, I would not believe that for any portion of time. Even though fans are surprised, players know there's a difference in the air. Team chemistry and um, how we can bounce back from a loss and how we can um, still stay together, you know, no matter what. And we lose together, we win together. Even with the progress that Coach Freeze has made, the expectations from the beginning of the year to now have changed. So much so that not getting six wins could not only be a disappointment to the team, but also the fan base. If you'd have told me we would be at five games, though, with two to play, you know, back in spring, uh, I probably would have taken that as would all of Rebel Nation. But uh, when, when you start having success, it builds the expectations for all of us. And, and we want more, and, um, and I don't blame them, and, and, and we feel the same way. With a chance to take the team to a postseason game, players say that they would not be satisfied with a 5-7 and seven record. He's gone! Touchdown! He rolled over the defender when he was tackled! 5-7 and seven would definitely be a disappointment, you know, just because that would be, we'll be disappointed ourselves. Not only are they playing for a bowl game, but also for the fans. Oh, it's huge for the fans, you know, because... You know, they, they haven't been a bowl game in the last two years. And, um, you know, we're, we're a program in the SEC that should be going to bowl games. We get the caliber players that we need to go to a bowl game. So I feel like, you know, it would be disappointing to the fans. And we don't like disappointing fans. People like Matt Luke and Grant Hurd and myself who are tied to this place um, so badly, you know, want to give this place uh, the best. And, uh, and they do. For Newswatch, I'm Scott Rachel Harper. It, keeps it. They hit him. He pushes hard to the goal line. Did he break the plane? Yes! Touchdown, Bo Wallace.